Good morning, everyone. That was the beautiful um, Sri Krishna Stuti that we just listened to. So, with those lovely vibrations that are around us, within us now, let us namaskar, type our kundalini, and put ourselves into bondo. Jai Sri Mataji. We now do the three great mantras followed by the Sri Ganesha mantra. Teen Mahamantra.
let's do um, one mantra to Sri Nimala Ganesh with our attention on our left Muladhara. Om Dwame Vasaksha Sri Nimala Ganesha Sakshat Sri Adi Shakti Matahaji Sri Nimala Devi Namo Namaha Shri Mataji, thank you for making me innocent. Putting our right hand on our lap, left hand on the earth. Do the mantra to Sri Kadakaya. Om Dvame Vasakshat Sri Katakeya Sakshat Sri Adi Shakti Matahaji Sri Nimala Devi Namo Namaha Shri please remove all my negative thinking, all my negative habits and conditionings from within me. Both hands on lap. Sri Ganesha, please remove all the obstacles on my path in my spiritual ascent. Please give me the dedication and surrender needed to ascend. This morning um, we're doing listening to a talk and it's called Reach the Depth Within to Solve Many Problems. Hopefully you can hear those beautiful bird signs just outside my window and you're enjoying those while I sit up. your depth. You all have depth. A very deep personality within yourself. But we have to touch that. That's very important. Because you see we sing, have music, that's a very good thing. We enjoy each other's company also is very good. And that's a nice thing. But we have to enjoy our own company also. By meditating, going within yourself. <clears throat> now, what is the uh, use? One may ask, Mother, now we have got realization, we have a nice life, we are enjoying ourselves, we are doing so well. The deeper you go, 
the deeper you touch the essences of all the things like all the elements when you had finished your meditation you saw how the rain fell down how the rain came suddenly so rain has felt your depth or you have felt the depth of rain now you know that if you light one little candle and put your finger towards it it will photograph there it acts it reacts and it gives you a flame which burns sometimes gives you smoke sometimes it uh, gallops so you have noticed that there's a reaction even in the fire so all elements have got an effect if a saint wants to have an effect but first of all you must reach your own essences once you reach your own essences then you reach the essences of all the elements and then you can handle all the elements as you like or you can order them as you like first they will act expressing that they have been touched like today the rain came pouring down then <clears throat> later on you can command and you can ask the rain to come to work out many things uh, of that kind we have to be deep deep we have to go much deeper within ourselves to touch our essences that is you know very well that all our chakras are made out of these essences and when we go deep into ourselves what we find that we can touch the elements very well <clears throat> while doing so actually we move horizontally when we start moving horizontally at the core of it we find that there are these essences placed and these essences then start exciting the essences across like in the radio you have seen this ether now when you speak on one side of the radio the it gets uh, completely manifested in the essence of the ether and then everybody can hear it now when <coughs> you people just give a bandha sometimes you find that you have communicated with another person but that's only the, the essence of the ether or we can say the settler of the settlest people have only gone onto the settler side we can say by signs but you go to the settler side and that settler side gives you all the secrets now you have seen also that in some of the photographs suddenly you find light coming out of my hand or there somebody is shown as with a light somebody is from the head the light is coming you have seen all this this is done also by the same uh, method but here <coughs> the date is like vishnu maya works out she's very active she works it out she does all these things and you know that also that when they gave me once a, a beautiful crown in switzerland in the sky they got the photograph of the same very beautifully done the uh, crown was there fatima's crown my face my eyes and everything so clearly all this is done by vishnu maya so <clears throat> all the all the essences are working out for you as well as all the deities are working out for you they are very anxious that these things should be done and you are the channels for them to work it out now for example as i told you the other day if you don't keep yourself all right a simple thing i told you to put in the nose some ghee it's very simple thing but that has me a lot but that has my issue thing but if you don't do it i suck in in any case what your problem is you have i suck in i suck in the problem of surgery means also the problem of the city where i am also the problem of the country where i am maybe of the whole universe but my horizontal movement is quite large and is very subtle and i do it quietly 
<coughs> but you must also understand that you can do a lot by your horizontal movement. By horizontal movement, what happens? That you start meditating on a particular subject, which is a very bothersome subject, and which is for the destructive of humanity. Anything. You just put your attention to it and meditate. If you are that deep, that means if your caliber has improved to that extent, you will immediately put an effect on that. Immediately you will see there will be a change. There will be something happening in that direction. This is your power which you have to actually develop. So we have to meditate. And by meditation we develop that strength within us. So automatically we <coughs> start solving the problem. Uh, like our anti-Negro up to that point, uh, the way we are strong inside, uh, they grow outside to help so many things which have to be helped. Now you see that people are realizing that the world is in a great mess and there are lots of problems that have come through materialism, through wrong thinking, through emotional thinking, through stupidity we can say. We have no time for all this. <coughs> what we have to do is to develop ourselves deeper and deeper and deeper so that on horizontal plane also we are effective. So yoga first of all is for personal improvement, is for the inner improvement as far as the personal side is concerned. Means your intelligence must improve, your temperament must improve, your heart must clear out, your feelings must be alright, then you should, uh, your health should be alright, then your relationship with others should be alright, your ego should go away, your super ego should go away, all these things are there. <coughs> but this only helps a personality, just a personality that is very limited, that is yourself. But now this personality can become an instrument if you can develop that depth within yourself. But normally what happens, people are very much still worried about themselves, say about their wives, about their children, about uh, their husbands, or their household, or this and that. These are not important things, because we have to be those instruments which are what you call them like pilotless mom. We have to develop that depth within us. That depth is possible and you can really cure many problems of your country if you could just meditate on that. Now for today, <coughs> I actually sucked in most of the problems which I felt were there in Canberra and later on in that conference and later on here. All these pro problems came into my understanding, I would say. And I was trying to work on that. My working style is different because I have very sharp and very effective instruments. But I, I have to pay attention to it and I a little bit suffer also. It doesn't matter. Now for you also, it is important that you also develop those deeper feelings within you, deeper sense within you. But mostly people are very superficial type. They just think about their body, their impressions, uh, how they <coughs> carry themselves. At the most, they think we have to be a very legal minded or we have to be, um, at the most, not drinking, not smoking. And <coughs> all these things are achieved and we have achieved them. But I think that is not so. And second point is that we think that if we love each other, if we love mother, that is the end of everything. It's not true also. Because your love for me uh, is there, no doubt, and it should be intense, it should be deeper. But the deeper you go into that love, then you will be surprised how you receive a special quality of correcting the things that are wrong around you. Gradually, that quality improves. For example, a surgery goes to anybody's house, that house must become auspicious. But such a surgery must have a good heart. If the heart is not good, in the heart there is still anger, passion, 
last greed. Then such a heart won't affect. But a person who has purified himself, if he goes into any family, any household, any society, the whole change will take place. The circumstances will change. <clears throat> Things that do not work out will start working out immediately. Like they said, Mother, as soon as you sent from this Sunday, everything started working out uh, as far as the television is concerned and radio is concerned. I didn't do anything in a way. But that should happen with you also. Wherever a saint goes, things are changing. You have to be a saint. And a saintly person has a very deep understanding of another person. And this is what it is lacking. Uh, we don't have that deep understanding for each other. Then even if you have for uh, some of your own friends or maybe in the same uh, ashram that you are staying in order, but it should deepen much more. It should go further and further. Now even if you think of me, it works out. It's the other way now, goes. But first of all, the meditative process should be increased. We all must meditate. That is very important. Meditate sincerely. Not just because we have to meditate, but because we have to be deep, we have to go within, to express our great powers of divine love, to correct so many things, which you can do very easily. I know you all can do it. There's no need to have big degrees for that, uh, big education for that. Nothing is needed. What is needed is a deep feeling of love for the whole universe. And that changes. The all destructive forces change their course and it is then for the constructive force. But on the whole, uh, that works out much faster if you all do that meditation with sincerity, with intensity, with understanding. All right? May God bless you. So let's meditate <clears throat> sincerely and deeply and collectively.
We'll do the last of the three great mantras. Om Tvami Vasakshan Shri Kelpi Sakshan Shri Sahastrata Swamini Moksha Pradaini Maktaji Shri Nimala Devi Namo Namaha And we'll finish up with some music.
Jay Shumeraji. Have a beautiful, beautiful Sahaj day.